Hey, man, you just talk about failure. Where did that come from? Experience. Shit. <laughs> 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 real shit. You know, ain't no, ain't no other way of, um, how do you say, ain't no other way of trying to word around it, just being straight up, straightforward with it. So, uh, it's just, it, it just it, that, that just really amazed me how you can just really put your all into something, your last dollar, your last everything, every bit of energy you got. Mm-hmm. Everything, trust, loyalty, I mean, you name it. Put it all into something and still fell at that shit. Yeah. But something I heard that was just real powerful to me, you can, you can, you can fail, but it doesn't make you no failure. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So something I had heard, and that just that that meant that meant a lot. It's just like you know your failure. I mean, your 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 failing was just basically an experience. You learned something. You gotta learn something. You picked up on it. Um, man, who taught? Man, who taught us about life? Man, all this shit is experience. Come on, yeah, man. Experience. There ain't no blueprint it, to life, come back. Failure, to, tripping and falling. Name one person from the past and say, man, do it like this. Man, that is. It's true. Hey, you only gonna be 21 one time. It's true. You only gonna be 15 one time. It's true. Can't no one tell you how to redo 15? Yep, it's true. Man, listen, you just gotta live your life. Learn your life, experience life, and go get life. You feel me? Yep. Fall trip, fall down seven, get up eight. You know what I'm saying? Learn from the tripping, the falling, picking your feet up. I'm Make sure mama. you take that full step. You got to. Uh, and, uh, you got to jump hell. off the porch. You got to. Hell, man. Life is the biggest hitter. Man. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and all them failures, man, from just what you just experienced. It's just like, ugh. You feel- it hey, man. sucks. I mean, who we got in the house, man? What's popping, man? <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> anyway, man, you got your boy Ryan, Ryan for cool, Ryan a rhino. That part. Ryan a boxer, Ryan a fighter, trying to get this shit together. You dig? Uh, I had to pull out of this fucking failure, bullshit, depression shit I was going through, and uh, gotta give it another round, man. Got a chapter. I'm calling it one more round. You know what I'm saying? The, this shit fucked me up. It hurt. Uh, went hard with the game. Went hard with the paint. We talking about these failures. Well, damn it, I failed. But I'm back up. So, uh, I'm just ready Let's to give go. it another shot, man. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just it's, it's another type of uh, energy I got to bring now. You know what I'm saying? Some some energy I had to dig out of me when my energy was already low. My, you know, my, my energy level, power, it was low. It was gone. It was done. I had to find some new one. I had to find some new energy and shit. So now at this point, where was at, it? Where did energy come from? Depression, an ugly state. But then also, I had to start talking to myself psychologically. I had to have a pimp talk with myself. And uh, how can I say, man? I just had to just 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 give myself the blueprint, man, on what we gonna do to get up out of it, baby steps, and uh, things that we used to do. Do it in a small way, baby steps, and then start taking them bigger dose steps afterwards and start running again. So, uh, man, all I got to say is I'm after it now again. So, uh, you know, things happen to me. I'm over it. Right. Ready to create some new shit and use them steps now from those failures, those falls. And And you got to apply what you just learned. Basically. That's just life. You feel me? You know what's uh, what started the bleeding. You know what I'm saying, and then uh, got it close. But I heard something though, man, not so long ago. Somebody said that uh, I kind of really did like the saying. This is this is what I heard. Hmm. Knowledge is power. Wisdom is focus. Something like that I heard, but it made sense to me. You heard this in real life, or you read it or something? I heard this in real life from somebody, younger gentleman actually. Oh, that's smooth right there. Uh, knowledge is power. Wisdom is focus. Uh, how they say? You're never too young to teach, and you're never too old to learn. Oh, man. Use more of what you have and less of what you got. You'll learn a lot. <laughs> That's wisdom right there. That's smooth right there. Sir. Hey, man. Hey, why are you in the house, man? What brought you over tonight? Shit, the Canelo fight. 
uh, Caleb Plant fight, great fight, decent fight. But yeah. I felt like uh, Canelo was just going to get him. Um, from jump? From jump. No hesitation. Um, how, Plant, how you knew that? Caleb Plant, good fighter, man. Um, uh, nothing, nothing against him, man. He's done a lot of accomplishments, man, with his uh, career. I think he, I think he's a great fighter. You know, good fighter. I just felt like Canelo was better um, because of his, um, you know, Canelo, Canelo can hit, man. You know, in this game, you got to be able to crack and hurt motherfuckers. You know what I mean? And Canelo definitely had that that bone breaking, punching power, which I seen. But major props to that Caleb dude. You know what I'm saying? He went up in there, he fought hard, man. He he came with the thunder. He did. Unfortunately, you know, better man won that night, which was Canelo. And uh, 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 just, I just, Canelo just on another level in my eyes. That's what I saw. Uh, that boy can hit. You know, when, when pain starts to accumulate over time, over them rounds, when you feeling it, that shit will slow you down and stop you, especially mm-hmm. to get dazed. And mm-hmm. I saw that tonight. Um, uh, hey, tell me this. You know, you, we just, we, you, you. These big fights, or just fighting in general, is it tiring just getting in the ring? Before it, it can be. Or like you like you know you got pre jitter nerves like, but like, does that get you fatigued too? It can, it can. If you don't know how to. Uh, or the anxiety or like well, what the how to deal with it. right man? Anxiety. Tell me, how, man, walk me through this shit, man. I don't know. How well, go. first of all, if you ask me, just from experience, shit, I ain't about to coach shit. I ain't gonna lie. <clears throat> that shit can be extremely overwhelming mentally, psychologically, um, and physically. Because once you know the psychological factor and a mental factor all gets drained, nigga, so does the physical. Uh, uh, it goes as well. So uh, when you know you're getting ready to step out of there, man. I mean, uh, depending on how big the crowd is. But hell, if you ask me, shit, uh, any kind of crowd. You get in there and hey, you know you about to go to war with somebody. Mm-hmm. Shit, you better be ready mm-hmm. on just an aspect of <laughs> on just an aspect of just get nigga. We about to go. We about to go head up. We ain't even hit each other yet. That's draining in itself. That part. That who gets the first hit. And does that first hit be the hit? Nigga, you're like, yeah, bitch. Or is it or is it like it can, a it can be, it can be. It can be. How's the first hit happen? It yeah. can be. Now um, I wanna know guess for real. Like uh, you know, how, oh man, how can I explain it? Let me think here. Um <laughs> let me think about that one for a second. Um, yeah, bitch. <laughs> yeah, bitch got you with the first hit. So, uh, it just depends on. That's why you gotta spar. <laughs> that's practice. That's why you gotta spar. You gotta spar the way you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bitch. Yeah. Ugh, I'm commit. That's why you gotta spar, man. Are you talking about hey, that who was. So look, spar. Was you around the doghouse back then? Back in the day, have you? Was you ever in the doghouse? Hell yeah, doghouse was. Was the shit? How was that era? I wasn't here. That you know, I came a little later. Doghouse always been the doghouse. That's for one. Um, I remember when I uh, let's see. I mean, I always been in the doghouse. And what was some nigga? You was like, God damn. I gotta say that was 2010 for me, which is one that was definitely on TV. Who was who was in this bitch? Who was who was it? Oh, Floyd Fifty when he was cool. Uh, but you know the man, the the dog, uh, Mr. Floyd himself, uh, been up in there, boy. Woo. When he in there and it's his time, you better be ready. And uh, shit, uh, like we was talking about, man. You know, the, you know that crowd. Mention that crowd. That tri- that crowd could be uh, energy drain. Shit, I was. Shit. I, when I was around all that shit, I just felt the energy, the the drainage of it, and I was trying to get away from it because I wasn't ready for it. Mm. But that day, Ooh. but that day, you know what I'm saying, was like, yo, you better learn fast, or you about to get left behind on this one real quick and fast. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, uh, so it was real cutthroat. I was real cutthroat, very. But I learned that day though that you can't let no. Opinions and what you think motherfuckers are thinking about you in that crowd right now, or just that energy of that crowd get to you. Mm. 
because he can get to you. So, anyway, you just got to find a way to block that shit out. And um, I know that day I had to learn fast. <laughs> who was you? Ha- who you got in the ring with? Yori York is Gamboa, the man at the time, one thirty-five. I'll never forget it. Oh, I heard that name, Gamboa. I never forget it. My granddaddy know him for sure. Twenty and 0, 18 knockouts. I will never forget. Is he black? Really he looked like he'd be black. Look like he'd be a nigga, you know. But he Hispanic, dude. He Cuban. Okay, okay, okay. One of my all-time favorites at the time. Damn. I mean, shit still is. You know what I'm saying? Um, How was that work? Oh, shit, that was that was beautiful work. Shit, I, I walked out with a black eye. Shit, that let me know I got some work. 